Hi, welcome to the full stack development with Angular 8 and Spring Boot. In this video, we are going to create a repository for book entity and a category entity. So let's begin. I'll go to the source main Java and I'll create a new interface. I'm going to call this book repository. I'm going to create a new package repository and click finish. I'm going to extend this with a JPI repository. And we will specify the entity name, which is book and the primary key type, which is long. Let's import this and save this and create a one more repository for category. I'm going to call this book category repository. Click finish. I'll do the same thing for book category repository. I'll extend this with a JPI repository. I will provide the entity name, which is book category and the primary key type long. Let's import this, save this. That's it. We are done with it. We don't have to create a controller and we don't have to add, add get mapping, add post mapping, add put mapping, all those things. The spring data rest will take care of everything. It will create a rest endpoint based on the entity name. So all we need to do is just run the application and test it. So let's save this. I'll go to the main class, right click, run as Java application. And let's expand this so we can see the logs. And before that, I would like to show you the documentation. So if you go to the browser and go to the repository resources, and we have this resource discoverability. So the Spring Data Rest will make use of the HitOS and the HAL. You can read more about HitOS and HAL in the documentation. I'll drop a link in the description section of this video. All right, the application is started. Let's go to the browser and navigate to localhost 8080. We get this white label error page. All right. Let's go to the Eclipse and go to the application.properties. We have added this base path slash API slash V1. Let's navigate to this URL and see what do we get. Slash API slash V1. Hit enter. Okay, we are getting something. Okay, the spring data rest will expose the resources which are available in this application. Right now we have two resources book categories and books. It also provides the link, which is a slash book categories and slash books. Let's navigate one of the rest endpoint. So before that, the spring data rest will also support pagination, searching and sorting. We will come back to this pagination, searching, sorting in the future videos. For now, let's navigate to the slash books rest endpoint and see what do we get. You can see we are getting the JSON response. We are getting the list of books from the database. All these data coming from the database. If you look at closely, we are getting this links in each JSON entry. So if you remember, we have added the one to many relationship in the book and the category table. So the spring data rest will also provides the links to the category that the each book belongs to. So if you click on the link, it will navigate to the category that this book belongs to. So the book belong to the category textbooks and each category contains a list of books and the spring data rest will also provide a link for that. We have this book 
json property name and the respective link if you click on this it will take you to the list of books that the category belongs to and you can see the url as well so this is the beauty of the spring data rest it will provide so much of options for us so now let's go back to the base url so still we have not yet done with this application okay still we have to do a few more improvements to this application okay we will do that in the in the next video so thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and click the bell icon to get notified and i will see you in the next video